Now we're going about 50 miles an hour and we're gonna wait till right, right there. Well, we missed the cone. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and this is gonna be a little bit of a different video compared to what I normally make. I'm here at an event with Brembo, and if you guys have never heard of Brembo, then you definitely live under a rock because they make performance brakes for like basically everything on the planet at this point. And what I wanted to figure out today is why do they have such a massive dominance on the market? Because you look at a lot of other components on vehicles, and there's tons of competition. Look at shocks, for example. Everyone's always comparing Bill Stein to Fox to King, so on and so forth. Whereas when it comes to performance, performance breaks it's pretty much Brembo or nothing. And so I really wanna figure out how they were able to do this. I am gonna be driving a new brake technology that they've recently released for electric vehicles. And so between testing that and talking to the engineers, I really wanna figure out why it is basically Brembo or nothing. And so with that being said, let's get right into the video. So we're setting off here in the stock Tesla to do our braking test here on this wet surface. I did a bunch of uh, braking tests here with the stock Tesla. And what I can tell you guys is the car actually stays in line pretty uh, well. I haven't been the best at braking at the right time, sadly. I, I always am a little bit like uh, too soon with the braking zones. I'll try to do my best with the uh, video to be right on point with this. Um, but you guys can see here with the water kind of popping up and everything. Um, but basically what this is supposed to test is uh, just on a wet surface, right? Now we're going about 50 miles an hour and we're gonna wait till right, right there. Well, we missed the cone, but <laughs> you, you guys can see the brakes of the uh, stock car. And you know, when we do the modified one, we'll obviously compare it, right? With the new Sensify system, but the stock system holds up uh, pretty well, actually. It stays in line relatively well, um, but you guys can see the uh, limitations there. Again, that wasn't a perfect run. I was supposed to turn a little bit, but... You know, we're, we're doing track driving. We're not doing uh, off-roading today. It's actually pretty fun to drive on a wet surface here with the... Model 3, it puts on the power really well. And I think it's actually a perfect car to test out brakes with because it, it's pretty easy to get up to speed. So this one, we're gonna be going at 40. So hopefully I can do it at the right time. So you guys can see I, that one, I I mean, it wasn't perfect, perfect, but it was pretty, pretty close. Um, you guys can see avoiding the obstacle and the slipping and everything with the brakes. Um, but uh, basically just to uh, quickly sum things up with my impression so far with the uh, stock brakes and, uh, and I'm not showing you guys the dry surface, but because this is the most exciting track to show is it's a pretty solid system. There is some, there is some sliding and uh, I am noticing also with the car, the limitations in terms of the stopping distance as well, right? I, I noticed that like this car uh, with that one where I, I barely uh, missed the turn a little bit, it, it seems like if I had a little bit more brake, then even with driver air, I, I would have been uh, completely fine. Um, but yeah, let, let's see how this kind of compares to the uh, modified one. So we're doing things here with what I'm dubbing as the modified Model 3. Uh, this has the Sensify brake system. And this will just show you guys the difference uh, with it. And I'll show you guys the braking zone first, and then we'll kind of talk about it a little bit after. But I, I think you guys will be pretty shocked with the results uh, and this one by the way first one 50 miles an hour and this is slight so basically braking and doing a slight turn so it's kind of like an avoidance maneuver type deal so you guys remember on the other one i i didn't hit it perfectly i kind of like <laughs> went over but a big part of uh that was not just driver air it was it was the brakes itself and i'm noticing with this system I have a lot more confidence and there's a lot more room for driver air, which I think is really important because that means that, you know, whatever pops up situation wise, even if you don't do the right thing, the system can kind of fix what you're doing wrong in a sense. It, it's really impressive actually. And, and that's the biggest difference I'm noticing between this and the uh, Model 3 at the stock brakes is with the Model 3 with the stock brakes, I had to hit those braking zones perfectly or else 
it something kind of you know went a little bit haywire whereas this I feel like I, I again like I said I've got room for air so this one's 40 miles an hour and, and another thing I'm noticing is the rate at which this stops is just so much better actually uh, I know it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to tell on camera because interior view but it's a lot better and the other thing is with the ABS system it's not so with a regular car what I'm what you feel on the brake pad is is you kind of feel this weird like biting back and you're almost like fighting with your foot back and forth in a sense Whereas with this system, it's like I just press down and it just does everything. And the car's not shifting all over the place. And so it's super impressive. But let's dive more into the specs now that you guys have actually seen it in terms of uh, what it does from a performance perspective and explain why this system's able to do what it's doing. So I just finished the driving over here at the test track. And now we can actually talk about the system that you guys just saw with the point of view driving. And I put in some work for you guys today because, well, let's just say that the car performed far better than I did. I literally had to stop after every single lap. And um, well, I marked the track in a very, um, interesting way you guys can probably guess what i'm talking about but anyways let's talk about this brake system so we have both model threes here and you guys can probably tell which one has the upgraded brakes on it so this is the standard model three now the standard system on a car from a brake perspective basically will make it so that everything is connected either with both of the wheels on one side or both of the wheels in the back or in the front and so if something's happening to one wheel from a brake perspective it's happening to the other wheel as well and that's one of the biggest differences with this new sensify system is it is completely independent so each individual brake can do a different thing but what that also means is if anything in the system fails for some reason then you're not going to lose half of the car's braking ability. You're just going to lose part of the ability with one of the brakes on one of the corners, which is awesome. And they actually have a bunch of redundancies built in, which I will talk about in a moment. But that's the first biggest difference between a traditional system like what you see on this Model 3 and the new Sensify system is it has independent braking. Think about it as the transfer that we had from when vehicles had like solid axles, right, to independent suspension, right? The independent suspension made it so that the suspension could all perform independently which made it so cars had better ride quality and could handle a lot better compared to solid axles this system is just as like groundbreaking as that system was back in the day now there's different variants with this new sensify system and one of the systems is completely dry which means that you don't have to use brake fluid with the system which is crazy and what this means is in the next probably five to ten to fifteen years cars won't need brake fluid at all anymore because every single car is probably going to have this system with how crazy it is. Um, but anyways, that, that's one of the systems. They do have a standard system that still has the normal hydraulic application and everything, but there is a dry system with this. And you guys can see, like, when you actually look at this from a caliper and rotor perspective, on the outside, you can't actually tell the difference between this and the standard setup on a car. I mean, obviously this one says Tesla and the other one says Brembo, but you look at it and it looks pretty similar. Now, another cool thing about this system is in a standard car, what you basically have is the pads are creating drag on the brake rotor, right? To make it so that you've got quick application. On this new system, however, you do not have that. So basically there's no drag with the new system, um, but because of the application of it being a dry system and again there's a lot of techie stuff i talked about with the engineers and and the gist of it is the system applies instantaneously but then also creates no drag so it's a lot more efficient than a system on a regular car from a brake perspective now hopefully you guys like my uh, blue shoes here but another thing that we tested out was actually the modulation of the feel for the brake pedal itself so basically with this new system and now it's beeping at me because it thinks something's happening anyways basically with this new system you can actually modulate what the pedal feels like so you can make it firmer 
or softer based on what you want to do from a driving perspective. And that's going to be fully customizable with the different vehicles that this uh, new braking system is actually going to be applied to, which again, is, is kind of like another uh, crazy part of it. Now, I did my best to talk about everything from a technical perspective with the vehicle while I was driving it. And then obviously doing that little kind of like walk around-ish type deal. That being said though, I'm obviously not an engineer, so I'm not fully qualified to talk about everything. That being said though, I can tell you guys the practical applications with this new brake system. Now the application for this brake system is absolutely immense. I'm of the opinion that pretty much every single new car in the next 10 to 15 years is probably gonna have this brake system on it, which I know sounds crazy, but here's the deal. If we look at this from a racing perspective, it just makes logical sense for race cars to use Brembo's new system. Because again, having independent braking means that race car drivers will be able to have more control, which means faster lap times. And so this is going to be a massive competitive edge in the racing world. And then if we look at high performance cars with OEMs, it's going to be the same thing. Again, with independent braking, with this system, it's going to give the OEMs the ability to have more control of the cars and I bet, I'm just, you know, me being a betting guy, I bet that every single vehicle within the next five to 10 years that breaks the Nürburgring record will have this brake system on it. Just that that's that's my bet uh, right now. And uh, well, I think I've got pretty good odds. Anyways, if we move to more normal applications like SUVs and sedans, it also makes a ton of logical sense because a lot of self-driving equipment is being put into these cars, adaptive cruise control, steering assist, and there's autopilot systems. And having a braking system that not only can brake for you and brake for you with immense pressure and at a quicker rate than you could brake yourself, obviously makes sense from a safety perspective. But again, and having that stability control also makes sense. Like it just everything combined is just perfect for all the self-driving systems that we're gonna have in the next few years and be available on more and more vehicles. And so again, the application there makes perfect logical sense. And even if a vehicle doesn't have self-driving, again, having more stability when you're just slamming on the brakes, whether you're in snowy conditions or on a dry road with an SUV or a sedan or truck or any other regular car just makes sense. You don't have that crazy back end motion and you don't like, you know, take out the entire highway, right? Because you lose control because you had to brake really hard. So it just, the safety application is just absolutely massive. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if the, especially here in the U S if the federal government d makes like a mandate, basically making it so all new cars have to have this system in it. So again, the application there makes perfect logical sense. And then if we look at pickup trucks more specifically from a towing application perspective, if you think about it, if you have more stability, independent braking on a vehicle that is towing something that is again, massively safe and it gives you so much more control. Think about all the times where you had a situation where you had a slam on your brakes and you were towing something and the trailer did what the trailer was going to do. And you know, because the truck, right, you, the back end goes around, the trailer starts going around and then you completely lose control and crash, right? Super horrible situation. This would help that out a massive amount. And I talked to the engineers at Brembo and they said that there's a very high chance that there is going to be a system for trailers as well so that you'll be able to have like a, a system for not only your truck but also for your trailer so then the braking stability will be so much better than the traditional system that we have right now and then if we look at electric vehicles this that's kind of like a huge application with this as well it's going to make it so that you're going to get even more out of the regen and again having it so that there is no drag between the um, rotor and the brake pads is just massively important. And so like, again, it, it's just, it, it's after driving the car that has the brakes on it and after thinking about all the different applications, it, it really is a no brainer. So the gist of everything, Brembo is releasing a new brake system, the Sensify system. It's an independent braking system, which is gonna give you more control over a vehicle. It's also going to increase safety a massive amount and make it so that you can eke out more performance in both on-road and off-road situations. I actually talked extensively with the engineers at Brembo in terms of like the off-road application with this, which I think is absolutely massive. I mean, think about things from a crawling perspective. 
if you have independent brakes. Like think about how much more control you'd have crawling up obstacles. And then with like the high speed stuff I do with the Raptor and the TRX, think about how much control you would have in those sandy desert situations when you're just flying down the road with again, an independent braking system. Like I am so, so excited for this to be applied uh, to vehicles again, just from a safety perspective, but then also from a performance uh, perspective. And on top of that, they're adding just so many little techie bits to this brake system. You know, obviously we talked about how you can adjust the pedal feel. On top of that, they're talking about making it so that you can download your settings from one car and implement it into another so that your braking experience with every single vehicle is what you want it to be, which is just, again, crazy. We're in the future at this point. I also threw out the idea of color changing calipers. I just thought it was a funny idea. And well, the engineers at uh, Brembo said, uh, we're working on it. So just so much customizations. It's a really cool system overall. And I'm really excited for this to be applied. The only downside is you can't just go to Brembo and buy this system. What's most likely going to happen is this is going to be uh, applied with OEMs initially. I don't know if there will ever be like an aftermarket application with this system, but basically OEMs will work directly with Brembo and build it into their cars. And so the way for you to get this system initially will be to just buy cars from different OEM manufacturers that have worked with Brembo to implement this system in their cars from the beginning, which actually makes sense because what that means is that manufacturers can fully customize this independent braking system to work perfectly for the vehicle that it is being applied to. And so, yeah, crazy, crazy long day. And uh, I'm feeling a lot better than I was when I was on a racetrack having to go from 70 miles an hour to zero with some of the uh, obstacles. Trust me, like brake, slamming on the brakes all day, it's, it's hard work. So I have a lot of respect to the engineers at Brembo that do that on literally a daily basis. Like they have guts of steel. Um, but <laughs> anyways, huge shout out to Brembo. And yeah, I'm again, I'm, I'm super excited to see this applied to vehicles and to in the next few years, review vehicles with this uh, technology. Just, yeah, one of, the, one of those seriously, groundbreaking things that I'm surprised not as many people are talking about this as what you'd think. But anyways, that's going to sum things up. I'll see you guys.